Also developing this afternoon, investigators say an early morning fire that left two Detroit firefighters hospitalized was intentionally set. That fire started around four on Minock Street near Joy Road. We want to get right on over to local force Nick Monticelli. He's on Detroit's west side. And Nick, do we have any idea how these firefighters are doing right now? Uh, the firefighters are going to be just fine, Evron. They've got uh, first and second degree burns to their chin, their bicep on their arm, uh, but they will be okay. In fact, one is already out of the hospital. Now, this has been a very eventful afternoon. I want to show you some video right now. Arson investigators have been here all morning, and this man right here instantly became a person of interest. He's been hanging around all morning, somehow knows or related to the person staying here. And when they started talking to him, he took off running through the streets of this West Side neighborhood. You could see police trying to catch up to him right there. They called in additional units. They've been scouring this neighborhood uh, many, many blocks for the past 45 minutes to an hour now. They have not caught him yet, but he certainly is considered a person of interest that may have intentionally started this fire that, as we mentioned, injured two firefighters as they were trapped when a flashover happened. I see too much of this all the time. You know, it's, it's like uh, the whole neighborhood. From across the street, Ernest Keene looked on as his neighbor's home was destroyed by fire. But a more accurate way to describe it is destroyed by arson. Investigators say someone poured a flammable liquid near a window and lit this house on fire. But it burned for a while before 911 was called. And when Detroit firefighters were called in, they were told someone was trapped inside. And so now you go into what we call rescue mode. So uh, while it's stretching, the hose line's waiting to get water. People actually entered the fire. Three firefighters went in, but after only about 10 seconds, the fire flashed over, meaning it erupted, filling the home with walls of flames. Those firefighters had to jump out of windows to escape. He turned around and went back out the way he came. So he actually had to come back through fire. And then the other firefighters, if they're near a window, they, you know, they, they went out the window, which is the quickest way of escaping. To make matters worse, no one was ever trapped inside. Those two firefighters have first and second degree burns on their bicep, chin, and more. They'll be okay. This house won't be. And all because someone decided to light it on fire. Now they're up and walking and talking and uh, you know and, and again any burn injury can get infected and everything else so it's serious and of course it hurts like mad and uh, and so in this particular case we're just glad it, it wasn't any worse than it was. All right so right now you're looking live at that uh, Chevy Blazer right now that is the vehicle that this person of interest was driving it is still running as soon as the uh, Arson investigators started talking to him again. He just bolted, taking off through this neighborhood. So they are actively searching for that person of interest. As far as the home, of course, that is destroyed. Uh, again, they believe it was set using some kind of flammable liquid, likely gasoline poured inside of the windows and then set on fire. And whether or not somebody was actually in that home or not has yet to be determined. But I should point out, though, that whoever set this, once they are caught, they will also have charges of assaulting a public safety officer. That is a felony. We are live here on Detroit's West Side. Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Well, hopefully the person responsible is caught and prosecuted. Nick, thank you.